Hey viewers, welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. Uh, starting out again here on the old Buick. It's still the same day that we did the high beam switch, but in an effort to make the videos not three hours long, we're splitting them up. So now we're onto the turn signal switch. So first thing first, we have to remove the airbag, which the battery is still disconnected from the previous video. Uh, I've got a Torx bit here. I don't know what it is, a T25. It looks like there's some Torx on the back side of the steering wheel. So we're gonna see if we take them out if the airbag will come loose and if it does we'll get it out of the way and then we have to remove the steering wheel after that that's step two let's see try to do this without wiggling you guys around too much let's see back in here going the wrong way Ooh. looks like there's two of these I don't think they come out. I think the airbag just goes forward. Okay, I hear it clicking, so. Of course, the key is on, the column's still loose. Any of you that are with me on a previous video, if not, you wanna go back and check that out, because it was awesome. Not really. <laughs> Not the freaking airbag holder. Maybe I'll look in service data before I get too far. It's got to be. Let me try to loosen up this other one more. I thought, uh, thought we were doing a stroke of business here. seem any looser than when we started. Uh, hmm. Let's see. That screw is definitely all the way loose. pushed in on the screw. Let me push in on this one. He's probably been on here a day or two with my guess. Pushed in on that one. And now we're talking. Did they give it wires just long enough where you can't do anything? Nope, they didn't, but boy, they got them smushed right in there. There we go. Now we're cooking. So we've got to unhook the horn. This is old school when you push in quarter turn to get these things out. They're very fragile. And then there's a little ground doodad. Right here you gotta flick up on that tang to release it. It just locks into some threads where the steering wheel puller goes. Okay. Now this is where it gets dangerous. And I mean super dangerous. Hey Jay, will you hand me a pocket screwdriver please? What's that? Pocket screwdriver. Make sure you point this away from your face and use your non-dominant hand. And of course you'll read down in the comments that you must wear a static strap. Because apparently static electricity will set this thing off and kill you in your face. Come on you little rag dog. I'm gonna live on the edge, I'm gonna stick my wood connector. Like it has blood on it already. Okay, that's off. We'll set that to the side. Some people got really pissed in my one airbag video because I set that on the dash. You're like, if that thing exploded, I'm like, well, you're an idiot. Don't you realize that when you're driving, it's pointing at your face all the time? I don't think, I think we're good, folks. That's what I'm getting at. Right, thank you. So we're going to see if we can't crack the steering wheel loose here. See if I can. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. I did turn the key back off to lock the steering wheel. Now these are usually on here pretty snug. Um, I think I'm going to. 
we'll give it a try here, try to give it a wiggle. I don't want to, because we have the count loose, so I don't want to try it too much. Yep. These ones here are usually on there pretty tight, so we're gonna set a break in something. Because you have to be careful with these old columns. You see where the two bolts that come through that hold the column up in the car, they have those uh, pieces that are kind of held in there with like some impregnated, or impregnated with plastic. May not even be the correct word. Uh, so when you get in an accident, they break and then the column, you know, has the ability to collapse. So you start fiddling around up in here and then they break and well, now you gotta buy a whole god dang column. So we will get our steering wheel puller, screw it in the holes, crack that loose. And this one has a notch already notched in the steering wheel and a notch notched in the shaft. So we don't have to worry about our alignment. But one thing we have to fix on this car is the engine light, which kind of has me a little worried. I think we may look at next. Um, she's OBD1. Let's see, what is this? It's not 5 16 fine thread. Maybe it's 5 16 coarse thread. Do we have a 5 16 coarse? We don't. Yes, we do. Here's a 5 16 coarse. Yep, so they're 5 16 coarse. Uh, the engine light has me concerned for a reason, and that reason is when I start the car, the engine light's on and it's flashing. It's not its not so much a steady flash, more so as it is a flicker. It flickers on and off with no, no real pattern to it. Um, just kind of flickers. Uh, one thing I notice when I turn the key on in park, key on engine off, is the engine light is not on, or it's not on flickering rather. Uh, however, if key on, engine off, you put the car in drive, all of a sudden the cooling fan is on and I hear what I think to be the air pump running or vice versa, that may happen in park. Either, and then you put it in drive and it stops doing it. It's kind of it's kind of bizarre. I don't know if it's stuck in some kind of diagnostic mode uh, or what it is. I was just a young boy when these cars came out, so. <laughs> what was that, what would I have been? 15, something like that. So let's see here. So I don't know what's going on with that, but we may look at that next, just in case that's some kind of big rigmarole there to get that, you know, sorted. So I don't know what we're gonna run into there. We'll see. All right, let's stick that to the side. We will remove our steering wheel. All right, <laughs> that's out of the way. Now the clock spring here uh, appears that it is held in with a uh, snap ring. So we'll get some tiny snap ring players. We'll put away the portion of our kit that we don't need anymore. We'll take that snap ring off, hopefully get the clock spring out. And I don't know, there has to be another connector for it. I don't know if this will slide up and off the shaft without having to go down there and disconnect the connectors, but we'll find out. Let's see if we can get these little guys in here. Maybe. And let's see. I think that's coming out. There we go. There's that snap ring. We'll set that down here where we can't find it. And then we'll wiggle this little guy up. Oh well, good, it does allow us enough room uh, to come forward with it, that's fantastic. Yeah, I can see the harness down below moving in and out. Uh, let's see here. I just gotta see what, seeing what indexes this thing. Okay, just the horn switch there. Hey, uh, Josh or Jay or whoever's out there. Will you hand me that small roll of green tape up on my toolbox? Green tape? Yep, top right. There you go. I just want to wrap some tape around this, folks. Keep keep it from moving. Um, just that way there, we don't uh, get things screwed up here. And yeah, thank you. Ooh, she's a fresh roll, never even been touched. Look at that. Could have done some ASMR with that, but I didn't, because ASMR is stupid but very trendy. I don't even know what ASMR stands for other than people eating and chewing into a microphone. 
All right, so there's that. There is a wavy washer in there, I can see. So we'll take the wavy washer off. Hey Jay, uh, hand me a pick of 45 and uh, 90, please. So now we have the lock, the lock plate that needs to come off. Thank you. If my old man was still alive, he'd be like, come over here and push that down. Like, uh, how about we just use the tool deck? Oh, just push it with your thumbs, it'll be faster. And I'd say, oh, I got a tool for that. Bops. Push the lock plate in ever so slightly. And then we have to pick this ring off, which means we're gonna go dance around with it for a few minutes here. Let's get it over here where we can get to it. See if we can get our funny shape picked underneath it. If you get one end of it up, you're, you're usually home free. Nope, let me try to hold that one. <laughs> That's always a little piss pot to do. There, there's one end of it up. I need to just work around it with the, the other pick. Being careful to not let it slip back in its groove. And there we go. So that's up. They go in a lot easier than they come off. And there's the second groove. And it's even better if you could do this without stabbing straight through your finger with the pick. Come on, you stinker. You're gonna piss me off. Nope, not anymore. Now I'm not pissed off anymore. And that's good we did that without getting pissed off. I didn't even have to throw anything. Take the tension off the lock plate here. Get down to the horn button. This is your steering column lock. This is when you lock your steering column. That's what it engages into is those this plate, which I think only goes on one way. I could be wrong. save that because we need to use that again. We'll set that lock ring down where we hopefully can find it. And then this should be, so that's our lock plate. It does only go on one way. It's engaged in those teeth. This here's your horn button. Beep, beep. So this is old school clock spring right here, man. Metal contact. <laughs> All right, yeah. So now there's that. So there's our switch we're going after. Um, we'll get the old wear -a tool here. It's a compact bit set with a belt clip for the on-go lifestyle. We'll switch out and get us a Phillips. That's what that looks like. I shouldn't call them Phillips because I tell you what, you call it one of the JIS screw, you call that a Phillips head man, that comments will eat you for lunch. Yeah. yeah. Back when I was a kid, we smashed our face in the dashboard like real men. Yeah. Alright, so that's off. We'll just set that to the side or pull it right out of our way. Let's see. Uh, this goes down into the turning signal cam, I guess it would be. You'll see where it rides in there. That rocket surgery here. Oops. Then we have some more screws. This one down in here. 
Set that down there. We've got one down here. I should get a smaller handled screwdriver. That would make the job a little bit easier. Who remembers back in the day when these old lock columns used to come loose? You have to tear this whole dang thing apart to get down in here and tighten it up. Yeah, tilt combi flopping. I think without tearing it apart all the way, you could get to like two of the screws. Yeah. You tighten the hell out of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that Volkswagen turn out, Josh. Good. Yeah. No more. Good and straight. No more pull or anything. No. All right. So if I could only other thing coming in today was the three o'clock service. Okay. Well, we got plenty of extras. You want to do that? Uh, that twenty five hundred that sits out there. Put that on your lift. Uh, Josh going on the job. I think. Well, there's usually enough play in these wires to pull it back towards you a little bit. I could be wrong. I know it's tighter than a drum coming out here. Let's get this spring out of our way. There's our spring. Let's see what we can see under here. I think it's this. Hmm. Let's see, come unplugged. Of course, some of this is going to be burned and melted. I gotta see if I can I gotta take my hat off. And then I gotta flip upside down. Let's see what we have. Um, oh wow, we're very, very close to each other right now. It's getting personal. It's gotta come up off this bracket. How does it do that? You guys stick with me. Who's with me? Yeah, maybe that comes unhooked from the top. Yes, sir. Sure does. And then that comes off of there. It really makes me want to pull that pin out. Just fix the one burned up wire. Now I can't see you, so I don't know what you're seeing. But we're gonna take this white tray that houses all the wires out. Another stupid YouTuber calling. These freaking people gotta quit calling me. If your car's broke, take it to a mechanic. There, we got this out. Okay, now I think that little piece that was loose in the very first video, we're gonna take that out also, or slip it down. Again, I don't know what you can see because I'm, I'm upside down under here, folks. I'm upside down in this job. Okay, all right, so that's got our switch loose. I think what we'll do, probably our best bet would be to cut the wires up top and then use that to assist us in pulling this down through, perhaps. Pretty sure if you get this wadded up just right, you can slip it up through there. But we want to do it without yanking up a bunch of other wires, so I think we're going to be best. Instead of fishing this through and pulling a, pulling a piece of rope up with it, we'll use our wires, existing wires, to pull, pull it down through. my wires. Push, 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 push. Feels like there's something over on this freaking side that's holding it, but there's nothing there, folks. I'm here to tell you. Comment section's blowing up right now with what it is. You know what it is? <laughs> You're right. Stupid. Catch that live on camera. Dumbass. Let's see. There is something on that side. It's called the hazard switch. I 
I'd have felt like a real clown if I broke that. Jeez. I and mean, you guys watch this for instructional purposes. <laughs> uh, you might want to go check out Chris Fix. There. Now we can see. What an idiot. I gotta find a way to edit that out. Um, wow, that is a massive wires running down through there, folks. And it is snug as a bug in a rug, let me tell you what. Man, I'll tell you what. Um, what's gonna be the best approach here? Would it be to deep in and push? Or to try to turn sideways and push? That's what I want to know. It has been a while. Like I said, I just did an old caddy the other day. It wasn't too horrid. Um, let's make sure of a couple things here. Those wire colors are all the same. All right, let's do this. Hey, Jake, could you have me a pair of wire cutters? What's up, oh, Mrs. Doe? Man, you're working on this whole boat, Mother huh? son of a loving thing. Wow, you just falling right in love with it? I kind of do like this car. Would you mind if I bought it? What? You wouldn't want to go get ice cream in this thing? <laughs> like we need a special car to get ice cream in? A lot of people drive their fancy car to the ice cream store. Is that the only place they drive? Well, let me just take a look back here. Have a little... Bow, bow, bow. We don't, we're not taking our kids to the ice cream store. <laughs> What's that? Do it does look really cushy. It is. Oh. This, this car is super comfortable Shmush. to drive. Shmush. And it's got the LT V8 in it. I don't know what that means, but back when I was a kid, that's what everybody wanted. Now the LS swap stuff. Oh, you want to know what? what? I think this guy's been smoking the reefer in here. What? I was under the seat because I dropped a clip, and look what I found. <laughs> a roach. Is it a roach? Yeah, I tried to get it out intact so I could show you. So you could use it in your science class. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Classic tape in the hair. As I was saying, I tried to get it out intact for you. So you could use it in your homeschooling science class. Uh -huh. I happen to know the scientific name of the cockroach. That's a cockroach. I'm out. Peace. What is it? Uh, they say in Spanish, la cucaracha. <laughs> is that the scientific, that is the scientific name? <laughs> <laughs> you can't sing that. That's copyright song. Uh, we all know he's a married little book. I gotta get to work here. Mm -hmm. Alright, back to business here, folks. Uh, let's take... I may be stupid for doing this, but <laughs> Mom always said stupid is stupid does. Let's take and... Oh, gosh, that was probably stupid. It's too late now, fella. We can't even do it. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. Now, if we can get half these out of the way, preferably the bigger half, to give us more room. Whoa! What, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that didn't sound good. Oh boy. Well, if you had a bucket of oil under there, you'd know where your bolt went. Let's see here, folks. I gotta see if we can pull down. Let's see, we want to take and pull the big strand and leave the little strand. But we don't want to yank the whole thing through. Where is the connector? There's the connector. I'll try to do this without having to get under there. big strand out we left us a pull cord here oh, I think we got plenty of room the birthing canal looks wide on this one so now let's get our light set back up man this is gonna work awesome I'm not gonna lie actually I could be lying because there's lots of wires in our way and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna see if we can't do something fancy here with some tape and then we're going to have to pray that our tape holds. Let's take it. We're going to weave this one through. Give it the classic weave through. Orange on round brown. 
you can pull it down. But brown on brown will make it to town. And black around brown doesn't make you a clown. It's the old saying that mechanics used to use when doing these back in the day. Nice and smooth. I mean, smooth like a bar. Okay, and then we'll bring her back down here. Well, this is gonna be awesome. Only if it works. Ew, I just tore the tape. That'll get the comment. Tell me you fit through there. Because I'm gonna be pissed if you don't. Mrs. O. Um, got kind of a code red over here right now. Would you come over here and be my lovely assistant? I'm gonna need some help. So you see down here, you see these wires right here? I'm gonna need you to pull them like you're trying to pull them through that column. But don't rip too hard. Let me try to get my lights set up. I can't see crap. Can't see crap there. I can see crap right here though. Any chance you could hold that light right like that also? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just a minute, we gotta get this just so. Just a minute, Mrs. O. Don't get, you're getting pumped. Okay, you ready? Push, 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 push. <laughs> when have you heard that before? Everybody on YouTube knows about that, you know. Well, that's great. Nothing like being there, though. Oh, it wasn't nothing like being there. Let me tell you what. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. You're trying to have a baby. <laughs> I've never told them that story, though. Oh, of course you didn't. You tell everybody that. else's dirty secrets. I do, because I'm dirty. That's backwards. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay, here we go. Uh, you ready? Are you still down there? I can be. Okay. What's it got, Mrs. O? <laughs> oh, easy, easy, easy. Not coming my way. Okay, just a minute. It's hung up somewhere. All right. Did you eat egg salad? I had two hard boiled eggs for breakfast. <sighs> oh, don't breathe on me. Oh, you got death breath. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. How's this? Can you see? No, I can't. <laughs> You're like a child. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having fun yet? Baby is Oops. Oh, sorry, folks. Oops. Okay, I got the people back. Let me see that. Let me just hold that light like that. <laughs> you think you're so funny, don't you? At least I'm getting a good laugh out of it. All right, go down there and give me a little tug, would you? Oh, <laughs> oh easy, easy, easy. Oh. I don't want to waste it all here. Wait, why do you got your? Why are you trying to look to see what I'm doing? <laughs> like you're Curious. Here to push back towards me. Oh, easy. This man, I need a pick. Uh, where's the other pick? Dang it all the heck! Dang camera's always in my way. This one. Okay. Son of a mother loving tuna fish. Mm. Is this supposed to fit? Yeah, it fits, but you got to have them just so. And they, these things are, you, you know how I have very delicate fingers? Mm-hmm. This thing's very delicate, too. You want me to help you? No, I don't, because then I look like an idiot. <laughs> what needs to happen, those wires need to be on the bottom of that peg. Oof. What? Oof. 
what? Uh, Listen, I don't like that sound, baby. Looks like you're a poke it. I'm don't not, poke I'm, it. I'm not poking it. <laughs> there. I was wondering there for a minute if I was going to job it off. <laughs> oh boy. I tell him that story too. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I chase you around and you're like, get away from me with that thing. <laughs> I said, what do you know how we do? Chop it off? <laughs> what the frig hole? We got a clock spring. i tell you what. People in the comments are always like, I wish I had an old car. Mm -hmm. Old cars were simple. No, old cars are stupid. That's what I say. Because you got stupid stuff like this where... You to... Someday you'll be old saying, I wish I had an old car. Yeah, like, oh, I wish I had me a, a 2022 back when I was a kid. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wish I had a car with 96 modules in it so I could figure out how the damn thing runs. <laughs> <laughs> Instead <laughs> yep. of these new fangled all electric cars. Yep. What did we do to the Volkswagen? Yeah, uh, the Volkswagen. The was one. Was it even on the books? No, it wasn't because it was on the books a couple weeks ago or a week ago because we had to order the lower control arms for it. Okay, so lower control arms. Yes. I think I wrote him an estimate, honey. Oh. <clears throat> I basically did your job. Well, I can only hope. Well, this is being a real piss pot here. Okay, the airbag wire still moves. I think finally after about a three hour struggle here, folks, we got it. Hallelujah. Let's see, we need to find the three matching screws, which are these ones. That's the wrong size bit. Dang it, I wish I had my wire kit clipped onto my belt. down the column. Hey Jay, will you hand me a proper Phillips head, number two? Will you hand me a number two Phillips screwdriver? Thank you. These coarse screws, you try to get them back in the groove that they were in. Otherwise, they don't last very long. You know, if you're cutting new threads all the time. Oh, it's lunchtime. A lot of people ask about the uh, siren there. That's the noon whistle. I don't know why they call it a whistle. It's more like a siren. It was like <laughs> lunch time. Now this we gotta stick back in the groove. There's that. And then we gotta get it lined up with the with the hole there. And then that took the bigger Phillips header, the, the Phillips with the bigger head, so to speak. The one oddball. That's going to go right in there. Now we're not going to put this whole upper piece together until we get down below it and try to get stuff together down there. Uh, nope, should be good. You want to you wanna drive that Tahoe when you go uptown? Yeah. Just kick it in and out of four-wheel drive a bunch more times and See, see if we can get it tacked up. Runner all the way up town, four low, I don't care. Yeah, no mercy reverses. 
heat intermittence. This guy dropped off this Tahoe that supposedly has a problem with the four wheel drive. But which I don't doubt that it does. It just so there's that. Alright. Just it's not acting up, it acts up once once in a blue moon and it happens to be a new moon right now. So in an effort to not make this video 45 minutes long, which it may already be, I hooked everything up underneath the vehicle. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 fella. That would ruin a day. Um, we're going to start putting this thing together. Do, 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 do. Don't forget to put your horn button thing in there. That'll ruin days. Especially if you fish this snap ring all the way down on there already. Um, I did hook up everything underneath. Did I just say that? Even the little plastic, white plastic thing that I thought was going to be a son of a mother to get back up on there wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. This is where you get the bloody finger from. I know people in the comments are saying, why don't you use a special snap ring player to get that thing in? Because I don't want to stretch it all out. So I think by just gradually going up over the shaft in which it goes on, we stand less of a chance of stretching it than if we grabbed it with a pair of snap ring players. And then really stretched it out. It's just my guess. Where's our tool? Oh, down here on the floor. I put it on the floor. Well, I thought we unscrewed that last time we used it. So I got that going on in the right direction? I think so. Now we're going to find out, right? Exposed. I'll slip it down. I'll make sure that sucker's all the way in. It appears to be. parts here. Ding! <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it. And we've got this little guy. We know it didn't spin around on us a bunch of times. This one's awfully close to Sure, we got the, that wire pulled all the way through. I don't like it. There's something there I don't like because something. Oh, I see. That groove has to. I say something has to index it to keep it from ro rotating, and it's this hump right here goes up and. The little hump holder. That's what I didn't like. Oh, now you feel good. Now, let me see if I can find the yellow wires down here. There they are. So I'll make sure we take all the slack out of it. Push and pull. Make sure that is it. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yep, because now she got tight. I can't just slip it back out so I know it pulled them wires down in and tight. Okay, good. That makes me feel better. Not great, but better. Oops, got you again. Yep, 
There we go. We had some snap ring pliers. I know Jay brought us in some. Get too much junk sitting up here. We found them. Oh, so we gotta go this way actually. Set that on there like so. Push this down slightly. And that clicks in. And that, folks, is that. Now, technically, in theory, that should come through there. Realign our notch. Yep, clock spring rotates. I'm happy steering column still loose. Uh, get this tool. Get this tool. It's interesting the amount of overspray on stuff like the column and the wiring harness. So that indicates to me that that stuff's all put together and then it's painted. Heh, <laughs> take a rocket surgeon to figure that out, fella. It's kind of interesting though. Somebody else's fingerprints on this. That's interesting. Maybe it's the guy from GM when he put this thing together back in '95. So, like I say, this goes in in quarter turns. Be very gentle with these things. They're extremely fragile. That's over on that side. I gotta get it lined up just right. Put it in and quarter turn. Feels like it's in there very wobbly, but that's that is the correct way. And this, like I say, that just goes in that groove right there. What's up, buddy? Mom. Is mommy making lunch? Yeah. Good, because I'm starving. You, you sit right there and watch this. Because if this thing explodes, it's going to be epic. Oh, you're fixing the airbag? Well, yep. Now they had this wire ran over to this side here where it's pinched in there real good. I don't know if that's proper, but that's the way it wants to lay. Yeah, it's going right back in that groove, so we're gonna stick with it. Oops. <laughs> Let me just make sure. We don't want to pinch it in the screw, that's for sure. Okay, there's that. Now we break out our wear kit. They should sponsor me. I like their tools. <laughs> what? You don't think they should sponsor me? I didn't say that. No. Now that the dangerous part is done. Oh, I thought I heard an explosion. We gotta hook up the old side poster here. soon anyways. Now let's see if we fix what we came to fix. Do we have brake lights? Survey says, yeah baby. We have brake lights now, but we have a turn signal. Oh yes. Oh yes. We have a four way. Alright folks, I've got three minutes left on the camera according to my battery, so that tells me this video is going to be stupid long and kind of dumb. But, we got mission accomplished. The horn still works, that's good. Uh, I've got to bolt the column back up, put the knee bolster back on, put the hush panel back on. Um, you got to believe me that I put everything back together under there as I said I would. And I did, and it actually looks really nice. It looks factory, so that's good. I feel good about that. 
Uh, then we're going to move on in the next video. We're going to work our way down his list. Let me check the engine light thing, see if that's still happening. It's not. Let me start it. Huh. Must have resolved itself by unhooking the battery, which is totally fine by me. Uh, ABS light is still on. So, uh, so that's that, folks. Head on down to that comment section. Let me know how you would have done this job, uh, how you fished the wires through. I'm sure we did them uh, completely wrong, but the method worked. Uh, seemed to get them down there well. They laid right on top of the other harness that comes through from this... Uh, from like the wipers and all that stuff, those two harnesses stack on top of each other, then you can get that plastic tray back up in there. Uh, that's it, so be sure to let me know how uh, to properly do it. And while you're down there, leave a proper comment and a criticism and a concern that you might have. And just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.